Hey everybody, it's JoJo back in the building. So, for those that don't know, I mean, my channel's not like super crazy, but for those that don't know, my name is Jose Star and I go by JoJo. It's my nickname, so yeah. But um, this video is for my 10 month HRT update. So, let's just kind of dive into it, situation. So, um,. Let's just think about the mental right now. As far as emotions go, um, I feel like they are heightened. I feel like, you know, everything that I usually feel, I just feel a little bit intensified. Or some kind of like vampire shit, you know. Intense emotions or whatever the fuck. But, um, yeah, that's happening. So, like, when I'm happy, I'm, like, really happy. When I'm um, sad, I'm really sad. I'm not, like, crying or anything or, like, breaking down. But, like, I'm really upset. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then when I'm irritated, which is my main, that's like my main emotion, I think. Um, I'm really, really, really irritated and I just kind of like don't care. So a lot of times you'll catch me saying stuff like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. So why do you keep, why do you keep talking about it, bitch? Like, <laughs> you'll catch that a lot. Um, let's see, uh, parents. Um, I feel like I have to keep up with it now, like more so. Like before this was just like, you know, sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with the makeup on kind of thing. I mean, that sounds familiar, but I'm not sure where that came from. But anyway, um, yeah, I just, before I just was like, I don't, well, who cares? You better take me who, for who I am. Like, that, that was me. But now it's more so like, I don't know. I have to have my nails done. My hair has to be on point. Like, I have to have something. Like, at least my face looking some kind of cute. So, that's where I'm at. Um, I guess I dabble in makeup a little bit more than I was before. Um, and I'm okay with that. At first, I, I really didn't like that. I wasn't, it wasn't my kind of thing. Um, the makeup thing was just more so of like a fun kind of thing. Now it's kind of sometimes it's like, I'm not going to say a necessity, but, um, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. So, um... Uh, most of this stuff that happens during my 10 months, it's, it has been, like, more physical than anything. Like, a lot of the stuff that I'm saying now, I kind of had going on in my 9 months. Um, but I'm starting to notice more physical changes. Uh, let's see. Like, I guess I could show y'all my hips. Because I feel like they're starting to come in. I don't know, but they, they look like it. So, let me show y'all my hippies. Okay, so this is my waistline, and uh, so you see, like, I hope this is, like, okay. I'm kind of fat, y'all, so don't worry about that, but you see how, like, yeah, right, sis? I'm hoping y'all can see, yeah. So, yeah, and they're, they're coming, they're, like, spreading a little bit, and, like, I'm just, I don't know, my thighs are getting a little bit thicker. My butt has grown, but these are not the jeans that I need to be jumping on camera with, uh, <laughs> so I'm not going to come up here and have a soggy booty. And y'all be thinking I'm the fuck crazy. Alright. So, anyway. um, Let's see. My skin's still soft. My face still kind of soft. It's just, it's pretty much the same. Um, As far as the pronouns and stuff go. Like, now it's... Like, last video I said, you know, it's something I wanted. It's something I'm... Like, you have to say. And it, it still remains the same. Like, it is mandatory. Like, she. She, 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 she. That's it. Nothing else, nothing more, just shit, her, things like that. Pronouns need to stay on the girly side, because that's how I like it. So, um, let's see. Oh, so I've been, like, watching, you know, other trans videos, um, and I like them. I just feel like, you know, the people that aren't as high up as certain people are more, like, blunt and in your face, kind of real, and I, I, I like that, um... Just because, like, you need to get what you're going to get straight straight up. Like, I need to hear this kind of stuff. Like, boom, this is this. This is what happened in my 10 months. This is what happened in my 9 months. And blah, 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 Like, I've been doing that here and there to make sure, like, something isn't going wrong with me. You know? Because, you know, I got to worry about my body. So, I'll check and I'll watch people's videos. And if somebody says, like, I cried a lot. Or, um, what happened? What else does stuff happened to me? Or oh, cravings. Like, I never liked salt before, but now it's like, I have to have, like, pickles and crap like that, blah, 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 Um, I think I'm off the pickle bit, though. I think so, but I do, a little bit of taste of the salt helps out. Um, 
I still only drink water most of the time. Um, I don't exercise, which I need to start doing again because my ass is getting fat. I guess I'm lies. I guess I'm starting to lose weight now because I'm not I'm not eating as much. Now I'm eating more so like just soup and pepper soup at that because like that's my favorite and I know how to make it so <laughs> it's a little bit you know amaze balls but whatever. Um, so that's really what I've been eating lately. So most of the thing I'm doing is peeing a lot. That's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's going pretty well. I think it's going pretty well. Um, I can honestly say that I'm happy. Like, I'm, I'm, before all this even happened, I didn't know that this is what I wanted to do. I didn't know this who I was. I didn't know any of that. I just was kind of like, I'm JoJo and I am me and accept, 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 blah, 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 blah. But now I'm just like, I know where I'm going and I know where I'm headed. And, you know, when I brought up, you know, hormones to, you know, family members and things like that and friends, and they're just like, are you sure this is what you want to do? And in doing that, you kind of get in your mindset that maybe this isn't what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because you have more than one opinion. What I did was I took time off to myself, not talking to anybody about it. Just keeping it to myself. And I think about it over and over and over again. And guess what? That's how I come to my conclusions. Because I wouldn't know what I want to do unless I had time alone. Like, people can influence you. Um, and I guess I can get into uh, SRS. I'll get into the boobs last, y'all. Because I know y'all like... Let me get some titties. Um, so, SRS, um, it's a go. It's something I want to do, and I'm doing it. That's it. Um, I thought about it. I sat on it. I was alone. I think, like, three months worth of just thinking. No, I probably a little bit. Probably this whole, this whole, actually, this whole time of me being on HRT, I've been thinking about it. Even kind of before this. But this is something that I've always wanted. Like, even when I dream, when I'm having, like, sex dreams and stuff like that, I have China, vagina. So, it's not like this is something, like, new to me. Now, where I'm at now, I'm just uncomfortable with it. So, I don't want to continue to do that. That's it. So, that's my decision. So, I'm working towards that. So, we'll kind of get that. I'm, I know I'm only 10 months, but, like, I've been living like this since I was younger. This, this, this. All of this, this is it's not nothing new. This is regular to me. This is like mad regular. Um But yeah, I'm kinda I'm excited about that too. Am I nervous? Yes, why not? It's surgery. Why wouldn't I be nervous? If I wasn't, then I wouldn't be human. I am nervous because it's always 50-50 chances, period. So you might not have feeling, you might have feeling, they might mess up, they might not mess up. It's always 50-50 for everything. So either it's to you when you think about this, and this is what I did. It's either it's worth it for you or it's not worth it. That's it. That's the only two options that you have. Is it worth it or is it not worth it? Is it worth almost maybe losing your feeling or maybe, you know, having an ugly one or, you know, have to go back for, you know, doing the surgery over to get revised or whatever the case may be, whatever. Okay, is that worth it? Do you think that you want to go through that kind of stuff? Kind of questions that I ask myself. And then I ask myself, you know, things like, um, how would I feel without? Like... And I told myself, it's just no no other no other way. I won't feel any other way. I sit down when I pee. I don't use, I don't, like, sexually, I never use it. Ever. And when I say ever, I mean ever. So, technically, your girl's a virgin. And when I am honest, I'm going to be a virgin. Otra vez. Which means, again, if you don't speak Spanish. But, yeah, so, um... I'm excited. I am. So, I'm, wor I'm honestly working towards that. I've done a lot of things that I want to do for myself. Um, and I'm loving it because it's my life. This is what my happiness comes from. It's me. So you accept, you don't accept. It's not my business. The only person that has to accept and love me is me. So I love it. And I'm so glad that I made all the decisions that I made. Um, I'm happy. This is my journey. No one else's. I can't speak for other people. But for mine, I am enjoying it. I'm loving it. I love in the attention. I love it. Not that like I'm super craving it, but I really do love the attention. Like, Guys are just like, yo, you're really, really beautiful. Who are you? You know, what's your name? Can I be with you? Can I buy you things? And I'm like, uh, bleh. <laughs> but, um, okay, let's get into the boobs because my video is becoming too long. But, yeah, I had to get y'all a little updated on all the cute things or whatever. So, okay, boobs. Um, I, get, I guess I'm going to, like, I guess I could pull my shirt out. Let me fix my titty, though. 
I want the shit looking a hot fucking mess. And then, okay. So I'll turn to the side. And okay, this is a push up bra. It do, it's pushing up a lot, but not not really like crazy. It's not super duper padded. But, um, sorry, my hair is in the way. Come on, sis. Watch out, sis. Come on. But, yep, yeah, breast. I want to take them out and just show y'all, but this is it. Like, one thing I want is I kind of want them to, I want the cleavage. I want this. So, I kind of want my, my chest to get bigger. But, then again, it's only been 10 months. Okay? Let me live. Let me do me. I don't know if it's going to get bigger. Because, you know, I talked to my doctor. And my doctor, like I said in the last video, said it was hereditary. So, my family has, like, our big chested. So, we, we'll see. Not saying I'm going to be running around here with a J cup like the rest of them. But, you know, at least something. But, um, they look good. I don't know. I just, sometimes I get the push-ups because it gives, like, that rounder, like, look inside of shirts and it just looks better and then it makes my stomach look smaller because i'm talking fat so <laughs> that always works out um but i'm kind of I'm, I'm i'm getting satisfied so you know everybody keep asking me are you going to get the implants and are you going to do breasts blah blah augmentations and blah 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 and i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna have to I'm, i don't know if i'm gonna need to i don't want crazy old out of the this world titties i don't i want something that is nice comfortable but pretty like i want something that's like if mine's could be like this, like this, I'm thinking, it went, once they're in the bra, like, if they can sit like this, man, uh, I think that's, that's my wave. You know, I don't want to be crazy. I don't want to look like I'm not authentic. You know what I'm saying? Because let's just be honest, sis. I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm really loving it, y'all. Let me tell y'all what I take. Hold on. You're gonna have to wait. I'll be right back. I'm so editing in this part. Out. Who's back? Okay, so firstly, um, I recommend that you, you go see a doctor. I wouldn't recommend self-medicating just because like they check all your levels of certain things in your body, like everything pretty much. So they're checking your testosterone level, like your cholesterol, your um, sodium. They're checking all of that. And you don't know which which uh, amount of pills, like milligrams of pills you should, or, or shot, whatever you're going to decide to do, um, that you should be taking. Um, and how it will affect what your, where your vitals are right then and there. That makes sense. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump into doing that by yourself. I would get checked out, find out what's going on with your body, because they give you pills according to who who you are and how your body functions and your family history and things like that. So if you don't have that information and you don't know any of those and and you don't have any of those specs, how are you taking something? That's like that's just like taking a perk and you have no reason to take it. Like that's how I see that. So. I advise to the highest degree, don't do that. Um, okay, let me just give you these and then I'm done with this video. So I take uh, spironolactone 100 milligram tablets twice a day. One I, when I wake up and then one before I go to sleep. Um, but after I eat, because a bitch gotta eat. And then um, I take extra dial 2 milligram tablets three times a day. So I'll take one in the morning when I first get up or when I eat after I eat breakfast or whatever. And then I'll take the last two before I go to bed because it causes um, dizziness and like nauseation and, all, and and things like that. So to avoid that, you know what I'm saying? That's what my doctor asked me to do. That's what they prescribed and that's where I'm at. So uh, yeah, so this so far is my journey and I'm going to see you guys for another update around 11 months. I'm going to do this until my 12 and then we'll see how it goes from there. Um, but if anything comes up with the SRS, I'll be on here to show y'all what's up. So, yes, go check out my videos on Instagram, um, and hit me up on Snapchat. I guess I'll put the link and stuff below, whatever the case may be. Jojo underscore Romney. I'm probably gonna put it on this screen somewhere. Um, yeah, let's do it, though. Thanks for coming by, y'all.